Tesla was the first company in the world to implement the Giga Press in its manufacturing facilities, an idea that initially seemed far-fetched. Yet Elon Musk's bold move has proven to be a revolutionary breakthrough, setting Tesla far ahead of its Chinese rivals by enabling EV production to be measured in seconds. But as you know, if something exists in the world, China will find a way to have it too, sometimes even better. When Tesla introduced the 6,000-ton Gigapress to cast the rear underbody of the Model Y, China quickly responded with a 7,000-ton casting machine. Then, as Tesla unveiled its 9,000-ton press to produce the Cybertruck's structural frame, China fired back with a jaw-dropping 16,000-ton Gigapress, the largest casting machine in the world to date, pioneered by Xpeng. But the race between Tesla and Chinese automakers is far from over. Recently, Elon Musk announced the unveiling of the Iga Press, 50,000 ton, a machine built specifically for Tesla's next generation vehicles. It's the world's first casting machine capable of molding at least five vehicle frames at once and building an entire car in just a few seconds. The internal mechanics and operation of this machine are nothing short of astonishing. So, how exactly will the 50,000 ton Giga Press crush China's 16,000 ton monster? Could this be Tesla's next game changer? Let's find out. It's easy to see why the demand for Giga casting technology is skyrocketing. Every automaker wants to build EVs faster and at a fraction of the cost. No one wants to be left behind, especially not Chinese automakers. What many people don't realize is that the chassis is the second most expensive part of a car after the engine. It's a core component that determines the vehicle's overall structure, durability, and performance. It includes the suspension, steering systems, and other critical elements, making its production both complex and costly. That's why for any car company looking to lower production costs, optimizing the chassis manufacturing process is absolutely crucial. As a pioneer in Giga Press adoption, Tesla is already using its 6,100-ton and 9,200-ton machines to streamline production of the Model 3, Model Y, and Cybertruck. These presses enable the creation of massive single-piece castings that replace the need for welding dozens of smaller parts together. Take the Model Y, for example. Tesla's approach has cut production costs by up to 40%, by replacing around 70 components with just two large castings and a structural battery pack. Thanks to the Gigapress, Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory can now produce a Model Y every 33 seconds. Almost unbelievable, right? Given the proven superior performance of the Gigapress technology on the Model 3, Model Y, and especially the Cybertruck, it's no surprise that Tesla is looking to expand this innovation to its next generation vehicles, including the Cybercab and the $25,000 affordable model, commonly referred to as the Model 2. Both vehicles feature a minimalist design with extremely compact front and rear sections, making them ideal candidates for full underbody gigacasting. However, in practice, even the 9,200-ton press currently considered the most powerful in use isn't strong enough to fully cast the underbody in one piece, even for a smaller vehicle. This means Tesla needs a far more powerful machine. That's exactly what led to Elon Musk's groundbreaking decision. Tesla will move forward with deploying the 50,000-ton Giga Press. Like real fast. <laughs> and then, um, I guess maybe we need to like just get even bigger casting machines? Sure, why not? You know, down, yeah, let's 50,000 tons. So, I mean, we, we, got, we got to jam the, the liquid metal in, cool it down real fast, like real fast. <laughs> I, I think it's, it'll be able to produce a car ultimately in less than five seconds. Like, can you imagine a car coming off the line in less than five seconds? That's, that's like, whoa. Yeah, compared to the 16,000-ton Giga Press, a 50,000-ton machine delivers more than three times the clamping force. So naturally, a few big questions came to mind the moment Elon Musk mentioned Tesla's 50,000-ton Giga Press. Just how massive is this machine? How long will it take to assemble? and what makes it superior to the 16,000-ton Giga casting system. Many people still mistakenly believe that 16,000 tons or 50,000 tons refers to the machine's weight, but that's completely wrong. These numbers represent the clamping force the machine exerts, not its physical mass. From what we've gathered, most Giga casting machines in China are supplied by LK machinery. 
Interestingly, Idra Tesla's current Giga Press supplier is now also under LK's control. Take the Xpeng Hypercasting 16,000 ton machine, for example. It delivers 160,000 kilonewtons of clamping force, powerful enough to cast massive parts like the front and rear underbodies of EVs. It's currently used in the production of the Xpeng P7 Plus, and thanks to this machine, the company has managed to reduce thousands of parts into just two major components. Now imagine the leap to a 50,000 ton press. It's expected to generate a staggering 500,000 kilonewtons of clamping force, more than three times what Xpeng's system delivers. As mentioned earlier, this level of force could allow Tesla to die, cast an entire unibody structure like that of the Cybercab or Model 2 in a single shot. Greater clamping force also means the ability to handle larger molds and contain more molten metal, enabling the creation of parts that are not only bigger but also significantly thicker and structurally more complex. Figuring out exactly how much these machines weigh isn't easy. There's no official number for the biggest ones yet, but we can make some pretty solid guesses based on earlier models. For example, the 6,000-ton Gigapress has been confirmed to weigh around 430 metric tons, or about 948,000 pounds. So the 9,000-ton version probably comes in around 688 tons, or roughly 1.52 million pounds. That means the Xpeng Hypercasting 16,000-ton machine likely weighs at least 1,200 tons, around 2.6 million pounds, and takes about 120 days to fully assemble. Now, if we follow that logic, the 50,000-ton Gigapress could weigh an insane 8.16 million pounds. Seriously, that's hard to wrap your head around. And when it comes to size, the 16,000-ton version already looks like a monster. It's no wonder it takes four months to put together. We don't have exact dimensions for that one, but the 6,000-ton Gigapress is already 64 feet long, almost 20 feet wide, and stands 17.4 feet tall. So, yeah, the 50,000-ton press? It's going to be wild. We're talking something the size of a three- to four-story building laid on its side. Tesla will probably have to build a whole new facility just to house it with crazy deep, reinforced concrete foundations to support the weight. For comparison, the 50,000-ton Gigapress would generate about 8.3 times the pressure of the 6,000-ton version and 5.5 times more than the 9,000-ton one. Size-wise, early estimates put it at around 131 feet long, 42 feet wide, and about 39 feet tall. No surprise it could take up to six months just to install. But here's the thing, even with all that power, the basic way it operates isn't too different from the 16,000-ton version. First, the process still begins with material preparation. Tesla melts down new aluminum ingots along with a leftover aluminum from previous casting cycles in a furnace heated to around 850 degrees Celsius. As far as we know, the Gigapress uses a two-furnace system to handle the aluminum alloy. One furnace, used for melting, is gas-fired and runs at about 850 degrees Celsius. The other holds the already molten metal and is electrically heated, keeping the temperature between 750 degrees Celsius and 850 degrees Celsius. The empty space inside the holding furnace is filled with nitrogen gas, which prevents oxidation in the molten aluminum and helps maintain a stable temperature. Operators also use argon gas and a silicon carbide filter, to remove impurities and particles larger than 25 microns. That's the material prep phase. Next up, mold preparation. Before each cycle, the Giga Press lubricates the mold surface. A robot sprays about 35 milliliters of soybean oil in a thin, even layer, kind of like applying non-stick spray to a baking pan, making it easier to release the cast part later on. Then, a vacuum system removes any air and the molten aluminum is transferred from the holding furnace to the Giga Press's injection chamber. There, the liquid metal is injected into the mold cavity by a high-speed piston, which is also lubricated with about 8 milliliters of oil before each shot. After the aluminum is injected, it remains in the mold until it solidifies. The cast part is removed from the mold at around 400 degrees Celsius. It's then placed in a cooling tank to rapidly bring its temperature down from 400 degrees Celsius to about 50 degrees Celsius. This quick cooling helps eliminate certain defects and improves the material properties. 
Finally, the mold is opened, cooled to around 185 degrees Celsius, and thoroughly cleaned by a robot to prepare for the next cycle. The next casting cycle typically begins one to two minutes after the current one ends. According to Elon Musk, to make this possible, Tesla had to design an ultra-advanced cooling system inside the GigaPress. The 50,000-ton GigaPress is also equipped with a smart mold separation mechanism and a much more advanced AI-powered quality inspection process compared to previous models. Even if competitors have a 50,000-ton press, they can't replicate Tesla's proprietary method. That's what sets it apart. Excess metal is trimmed off and recycled for the next melt. The final part undergoes X-ray inspection to ensure structural integrity and quality. One of the biggest challenges during the casting process is keeping the mold from popping open under the intense pressure of the molten aluminum injection. That's why the machine must generate an extremely high clamping force to keep the mold sealed shut. And with the 50,000-ton GigaPress, that clamping force is absolutely massive. With in a single casting machine, we could do like five at a time or something, you know? Um, I'm trying to think, like, how do you scale castings? Because you've got liquid metal, metal's got to cool, uh, and then you've got to automate, you know, getting all the bits and pieces off the casting so that it's usable. According to Elon Musk, a 50,000-ton gigapress can cast at least five EV chassis in a single shot, something Xpeng's 16,000-ton hypercasting technology cannot achieve. Elon Musk explained that the 50,000-ton machine can handle a massive volume of molten metal, casting multiple chassis simultaneously. It then cools the metal and automatically trims excess material, producing a finished part with minimal manual intervention. With a clamping force of 500,000 kilonewtons, this machine can use larger molds that hold enough metal to create several components at once, significantly boosting production speed and cutting costs. In contrast, Xpeng's 16,000-ton hypercasting machine, with its 160,000 kilonewtons of clamping force, can only cast one chassis at a time. Its limitations lie in mold size and pressure, which are insufficient for simultaneous multi-part casting. However, the 50,000-ton GigaPress will require ultra-efficient cooling systems and highly complex automation to maintain quality standards. In fact, the larger the die-casting machine, the higher the precision. Molten aluminum is injected into the mold at incredible speed, and the process must ensure the metal fills every section of the mold evenly and completely before cooling and hardening into a solid structure. On a 6,000-ton GigaPress, Around 80 kilograms or 176 pounds of molten aluminum is shot into the cold chamber at 10 meters per second. But with the 50,000 ton gigapress, the volume of aluminum is significantly higher and the injection speed must be even faster. This process demands extreme precision, too fast, and air bubbles may form, too slow, and the aluminum could start to cool before fully filling the mold. The truth is, bringing the gigapress to Tesla was no easy feat. The machine Elon Musk envisioned was almost like a technology ahead of its time, a needle in a haystack. Building such a machine had never been done in the auto industry before. At the time, car manufacturing primarily relied on steel stamping and robotic welding, involving hundreds of parts and complex processes. So naturally, most die-casting machine manufacturers were skeptical about the feasibility of Musk's idea. Elon Musk initially reached out to five major die-casting manufacturers, all of them quickly turned down the proposal. It seemed like the idea might be dead, until, as a final gamble and Tesla's last hope, Musk contacted a sixth company, Idra. And finally, Idra gave Tesla the answer it desperately needed. It's possible. For Musk, even a maybe at that moment meant everything. To rapidly turn the GigaPress into a reality, Tesla worked closely with Idra for over a year. The development process was far from simple. Tesla continuously requested design changes, forcing IDRA to adapt its machines accordingly. One IDRA representative shared that every time Tesla proposed a modification, their engineering team had to work around the clock to update the design. In the end, the GigaPress was born, and it was a success. So how much does each version of the GigaPress cost? The cost of GigaPress machines is a critical factor in determining whether high-pressure die-casting 
can be widely adopted in the automotive industry, especially for EV production. Based on reports we've found, the 6,000-ton gigapress is priced at approximately $6.48 million. With a clamping force of 60,000 kilonewtons, this version is suitable for smaller-scale projects with a lower initial investment, though its production capacity is more limited. Next is the 9,000-ton gigapress, which costs between $9.72 million and $11.34 million. It delivers a clamping force of 90,000 kilonewtons, making it capable of casting more complex components, such as integrated chassis for mid-sized vehicles. For the 16,000-ton Xpeng hypercasting, the cost is reported to range from $17,280,000 to $21,600,000. For the 50,000-ton Gigapress, the estimated price could range from $43,200,000 to $64,800,000, with a clamping force of 500,000 kilonewtons allowing for the casting of five chassis at a time. The machine requires advanced cooling technology, complex automation systems, and giant molds, pushing up production costs. Compared to the 16,000-ton machine, the price of the 50,000-ton machine can be two to three times higher, which is a trade-off for Tesla to produce faster and turn a profit sooner. What do you think about the cost of the Gigapress? The 50,000-ton Tesla Gigapress isn't just a giant piece of machinery. It's a symbol of a whole new era in automotive manufacturing. With the ability to cast up to five vehicle bodies at once, this machine doesn't just cut down production time and cost. It completely shatters the old limits of chassis casting technology. Compared to Xpeng's 16,000-ton hypercasting process, which can only produce one frame at a time, Tesla is setting an entirely new benchmark in scale, speed, and efficiency. Now don't get me wrong. Hypercasting is a big leap forward for China's auto industry. But when it comes to automation, line integration, and the ability to optimize a car's structure through software, the 50,000-ton Gigapress is in a league of its own. This isn't just a battle of machine size. It's a revolution in how we think about manufacturing. From programmable unibody design to streamlined supply chains and real-time production rollout. What really puts Tesla ahead isn't just that they built the bigger press. It's how fast they innovate and how tightly they control the entire process, from software to hardware to logistics. While companies like Xpeng are still in the pilot phase, with hypercasting, Tesla is already turning bold concepts into commercial reality, ready to scale globally. Just like Ford's assembly line once changed the course of automotive history, or how Toyota's lean manufacturing woke up the entire industrial world, Tesla's 50,000-ton Gigapress is redrawing the future of electric vehicles. The question is no longer who will catch up, but who will dare to go that far and that fast?